And the new Iberia marching men back at City Hall to turn the Bayou Country green ahead of St. Patrick's Day, a tradition for now more than half a decade. Christina Mondragon takes us there. Despite the event being called Turn the Bayou Green, in the past they tried to dye Bayou Tesh to celebrate this month. It proved too difficult, so they settled with this fountain outside of New Iberia City Hall. Although the actual dyeing only takes a few minutes, this takes months of planning. Joshua Morell, who works at a laboratory, says to achieve the green, a lot of trial and error and even a specially made dyeing contraption was built to support the pumping system for the fountain. I have some engineering background, so uh, they said, uh, okay, you do it, you fix it. You have some ideas? So I said, yeah, come on, uh, I can do this better. So they said, all right, so uh, they let me design it and I built it and uh, it's real good. It's made to handle enough dye for this fountain. All this dye is biodegradable and even safe to drink and needs to be kept up since it begins to fade after three days. Jody McDonald, head captain of the New Iberia Marching Men, maintains the fountain after the event to keep up the color. And so over the course of the next two weeks, I'm going to just come periodically and I'm going to keep it this color until we uh, pass St. Patrick's Day. March is recognized as Irish American Heritage Month. McDonald's says how this culture is rich in strength. Resilient, persevering, um, it's a strong heritage. We've helped build America. In studio, Christina Mondragon, KTC TV3. Thanks, Christina. Still to